All right, in this example, we're gonna learn how to use the concatenate formula. It's gonna combine several cells into one. So to do that, I'll go to my insert function button. If you don't see concatenate, just search for it. Then we have to tell it what we want to show up first. So first, I want the first name, David. Click back on the red button. I'm then gonna want a space. So I'm gonna do quotation mark, space, quotation mark to indicate that I want a space. Click on this button and do Jones. Hit OK. It then puts the names together. I'll grab my fill handle and drag all the way down. We're now going to do a, a drop down list so that we can continue to fill in other names without having to do it ourselves. So I'm gonna select those cells about F68 to F100. We're then gonna to go to data validation. We want to choose list. And now we need to get our list of names that we're gonna pull from. So I'm gonna click the red button and we're gonna use these sample names right here for this project and then hit OK. Now when you click the drop down you have an option of names that you can choose from. When you do data validation you can also do input messages and error alerts. So we can do an input message that says Employees must be selected from this list. So now when you go to click on it, you'll see our input message there. We also want to create an error alert for around, let's do F68 to about F100. All right, to do our error message. If you receive a student of to do our error alert, this is where we can add in the message that you want to put. So we can type in, you may only enter employees from the provided list. And then what happens if you try to type in a cell, you're going to get a, an error message like this. And that is concatenate and data validation.